G'day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 14 of my multiplayer series against Dudeman. We're playing the Balkan League campaign for Strategic Command World War 1 Empires in Turmoil DLC. I'm the Ottomans, he's the Balkan Powers. Now let's see what mischief he gets up to today. Now you're a bit of a coward. You, you had these wonderful trenches. And if you'd stayed there, your life would have been wonderful. But instead, you ran away into the mountains where you're going to dive dysentery. And you're going to look like a coward all the while you're doing it. You're a disgrace. Good Ottoman troops would never do that. Bad Ottoman troops, on the other hand, probably would. Um, Alright, oh, we've got some reinforcements. Ah, hello. That did nothing. But he... is now going to be looking pretty sad. New detachment. That is good to see. Alright. Oh, before I do anything rash, one, two, three, four, five need to be repaired. Now, is there any room to strike back this turn? Oh, those, those reinforcements came in just in time, too. Because he's really bearing down on us. Okay, you might not die of dysentery this turn. I mean, I do think... The Albanian front is a little bit of a lost cause, but we will fight on. Could get that over there. have to think on it. I'm not happy by the appearance of all these Bulgarians. They're, they're a bit harder to knock out than the than the others. Right, I'm, I'm going to try attacking in the in the snow. Um, I appreciate the blizzard um, thanks weather gods but I can't really attack during one. It's not known to be a very good idea. Um, quite unfortunate, really. Um, oh, hello. Why aren't you in the town? Why aren't you defending something? Why are you just there? Like, there's nothing there. If you want to stop me from moving forward, you'd put it here. Like, I, I don't know why that's there, mate. Maybe he's lost. Maybe he can't read, and his map says, go in the town. And he's like, huh, what, what's this say? Does it say, buy a donut? Probably does, actually. Um, be a very useful map if it told you to do that. Um, I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put you there. Hey, I can buy one cheap. Nice. Let's do that. I can't buy another one, though. I'm gonna get another cavalry. Mm. 
Ivanov. Alright. How are we doing? 62. But we're going to be getting 50 extra per turn from Salonika, Tyranna and Adrianople. That's 150 extra a turn. That's how loss has been lately. Um, okay, it's not quite going to replace all our losses, but it's... It's going to stem the tide quite a bit, so... We're really not doing that badly. Um, I mean, the fact I've still got Salonika, that in itself is a huge win compared to what was historically managed. Um, that, that fell within about four turns. Um, historically, so... That, that I've got it, that alone's really going to um, make things harder for him. Um, would it be worth repairing this destroyer? That's pretty cheap. Let's do that. I don't know what his, his naval game plan is. I mean, my naval game plan is basically don't do anything stupid, but, um... Um, okay. The new cavalry... If, if you get Blizzard again, you're probably not knocking him out. Because he's, he's good supply, and I mean, if he retreats, he retreats, right? Um, I'm going to put you there. I expect now he knows that I'm transporting stuff in, he will come after a, a bit. What I would like to do is drop someone in here and, and go on a run somewhere. Um, if anything, just to force him to chase me down. Um, Uh, do I have another cavalry coming? So I still got one to deploy, but I'm probably going to put that on the fortress. Um, uh, tur turn to six days at the moment, I think, so... 15, uh, yeah, 15th would be next turn. Um, let's do that. If I drop someone in here, I don't think he'd expect it, because if he did expect it, he would have captured this a long time ago. No, no one leaves a, a town completely empty if it's got a port on it, and he's seen me transport things, unless he really doesn't expect something to come there. See, he knows I am transporting things now, that's where these came from. So he must just assume that I'm not going to put anything there, because he, he's got units to do it with, like the Serbian cavalry, and he's got plenty of Bulgarians as well, it's like, he could take it. Um, nothing that he's done here lately has been critical enough that you, you can just say he's not doing it because he can't afford to. Um, I'll entrench that. that. That one's really just my reserve, but um, I will entrench it just in case something from some unexpected direction comes to wax him in the chops. Because otherwise that would hurt. Um, right. I'm going to put you there. I don't want to keep you there long term, but it will give me a bit of time to see what he decides to do. Given as the blizzard, he probably won't do anything, but, um... Well, the longer the blizzard goes on, the better it's going to be for me, so... 
because fighting spirits can work against him more and more the longer the game goes. Mm. They're trapped. They're gonna die eventually. It's gonna be really sad. Um. Well, Al Al Albania's been a mess since the beginning, really. I'll be quite surprised if I ever pull off anything there other than this gambit, which was... <laughs> that was fun to do. Alright, um, I think I've moved everyone. It's snowing everywhere, so there's not much for me to do otherwise. Um, who's the Greek winter god? Um, I want to start praying to them, because Zeus doesn't listen to me. Um, Greek winter god, give us blizzards. Make it so cold that all of his guys die of frostbite. And, uh, can you die of dysentery when it's frozen? Does that even work? Probably not. They didn't listen. I don't have very good connections with with the um with the gods. I tell you what, they they don't like me. <laughs> they keep giving him mud like. Mud's not really helpful, because I want the snow. Snow gives him combat penalties. Mud just slows everyone down, but no one moves in this campaign, so... <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.